when the sun rises and you kind of see the shadows like kind of crawl up the mountains, at least here in Colorado. You just kind of get to watch sort of the shadows drift and light kind of gets shed into different places as the sun comes up. That's kind of what I'm thinking about. When I do the finishing work, I can find that shadow and just watch it kind of drip over the hold. You see little bumps and like little impurities. You just gotta go in there and fix them all. It's like my favorite and least favorite part. I do a lot of thinking. Mostly I think about uh, finally seeing it in plastic. Getting to set with it. I think about setting a lot more than shaping when I'm shaping, actually. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know. Spent a lot of time around root setters. You could say they're my people. <laughs> it's kind of silly. You think about a root setter, what drives a root setter? what drives me and my friends. And and I remember years ago, like walking into a Chick-fil-A with one of the root setters um, on, on a, a commercial team and walk into Chick-fil-A and it's like starting rate is like $2 more than what the setter's making. And it's just like, holy cow. You're like, what are we doing? And it's still like that. Um, it's still like that. And it's worse in other countries too, but um, why? Why would someone keep root setting? I don't know, there's just like, it's, it's, it's a hard job. And it's not hard just because it destroys your body. It's hard because you don't make a ton of money and oftentimes you, you think about that and you wonder why. And in clinics, we always ask, what makes a good root setter? So I've, I've heard a lot of answers. What makes a good root setter? And you get the normal ones, like a good team player, or um, sometimes people talk about climbing aptitude and creativity, all these things, all the things you would expect. But one that I haven't heard, <clears throat> and that I think is just as true, is you gotta have a chip on your shoulder. You gotta want it despite everything else. Um, you gotta have like a vendetta. Shaping has all these different stages. You're like kind of discovering and playing and tweaking and thinking about maybe a move or, or a position or something that you have experienced, uh, something you dreamt about, uh, I don't know, but like trying to figure out how to break into that. And you learn things along the way and all of a sudden you've got a hold. This is sick. And you recreate it and that one is also like a little different and you learn something about it and after a while you kind of develop this whole tool bag, this whole like play sheet or something and now you can shape. 